two, one, go. 15 seconds. They can do this autonomous pre-program or use cameras. That's why they have the shades representing the sandstorm. So it's two points for the hatch, three for the cargo, if they can successfully get it. Now, it's teleoperated. Blue Alliance all out of the field. 2493, 7447, both have hatch panels that are 19 inches in diameter, attached by Velcro to the cargo ship or the rocket ship. If you try to put cargo in the cargo ship or the rocket, it will not stay without a hatch panel, so it's hatch panel first. The goal is to get as many in in the remaining two minutes. So you're looking at strategies. Each team, the Red Alliance, they're randomly put together for about 10 matches throughout the qualifications and trying to coordinate when to put a hatch and when to load. We're seeing 50-12, might be having some uh, mechanical problems, but that doesn't stop. 24-93, Blue Alliance Robocon from attempting to get on the second level of the rocket, but gravity took over on the planet of Primus. 8-12 going into the habitat zone. The habitat zone is off limits to the opposing alliance. That's where they can restock cargo or hatch panels. Come up the final 30 seconds, blue, 33, red alliance, nine. And they're both still working, trying to successfully get in cargo. And if they can fill the rocket, they'll get one extra ranking point. If you win, you get two ranking points. If you tie, you get one ranking point. And coming up is the warning for the end game. The end game is getting back to your lines. 20 seconds to go on level one, two, or three. If you can get up to the highest level three, it's 12 points. Level two is six. Level one is three. And if you get 15 points in the end game, you get a ranking point. Two of blue are on, one, two of red are on. And we're coming down to the final five seconds. Four, three, two, one, lunch. So with 46 points. They earned two ranking points for the win. Red Alliance had 12. Congratulations to both alliances for qualification match two.